And this historic upheaval of House leadership leaves Congress and really the nation in new territory. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama spoke with a Bay Area congressman and a political expert tonight. So, Jana, what are they saying are the next steps here? Well, Congressman uh, Kevin McMullen, who I spoke with, says that Bay Area representatives have been hoping to return home for Senator Dianne Feinstein's funeral this week, and that appears likely with Republicans saying the Speaker pro tem has canceled all of those votes, as we heard earlier, for the rest of this week. It was quiet on Capitol Hill Tuesday night. The U.S. House of Representatives now without an elected speaker after right-wing Republicans ousted California Congressman Kevin McCarthy. You could feel the gravity of the moment as well. Uh, this was history uh, unfolding. Bay Area Congressman Kevin Mullen said the appointed president pro tem Patrick McHenry canceled all votes for the rest of the week, bringing the nation's House business to a halt. Nobody is celebrating this. This is a sobering day for this institution. Uh, we need uh, this institution to stabilize itself. Uh, we need a speaker that will truly work in a bipartisan way. Late Tuesday night, Florida Congressman Matt Gates, who led the ouster of Speaker McCarthy, spoke out sharply, criticizing the Speaker pro tem's decision to postpone new votes. This is not the time to go home for a week. We should stay and elect a new speaker. That's the path ahead. The historic ouster of the speaker is sending the nation now into uncharted territory. Legally, there has to be a speaker as a presiding officer for legislative business. The House as a collective body can't do anything unless there's a speaker, a person to sign the bills that they transmit to the Senate. UC Berkeley political science professor Sean Gailmard says the House rules allow Speaker Pro Tem McHenry to assume powers of the speaker to conduct business. McHenry is a moderate and could even work with Democrats to pass bills. If they could agree on the legislation they want to, to move through the House, the speaker, the speaker pro tempore would be able to enroll officially that legislation transmitted to the Senate. What the speaker pro tempore can't do is act as the political leader of their party, simply because they have not been elected to do so. We are hoping it is somebody that we can trust and work with and, and restore some sense of trust and bipartisanship in the House. Republicans need to resolve their divisions, though, or Gailmard says the losers could be the American people. The stopgap funding measure that the House pushed through, which precipitated all this, is only going to last until mid-November. Professor Gamelard says there is nothing in the House rules that says it has to be resolved in any particular time frame. Republicans have indicated, Julie and Mike, that they intend to meet next Tuesday and possibly have a vote as early as Wednesday. All right. In the meantime, it was swift and historic on Capitol Hill today. Gianna, thank you. Thank you, Gianna.